All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, profile lookup. So we have an array of objects representing different people in our contacts list. A lookup profile function that takes name and a property prop as arguments has been pre-written for us. The function should check if name is an actual contact's first name and the given property prop is a property of that contact. If both are true, then, re then we're going to return the value of that property. If name does not correspond to any contacts, then we're going to return the string no such contact. If prop does not, <laughs> if prop does not correspond to any valid properties of a contact, pardon me, of a contact found to match name, then we're going to return the string no such property. Okay. So basically, what we're going to do is iterate through this array right here, this whole big array of these, uh, what are they called? These objects right here. And then we're going to uh, first check if the name is the contact's first name. So we'll go through them and check to see if the name is the name that we're given. So if it's this name right here, and if it is, then we're gonna see if the property exists. So if it does, then we're just gonna give the value of whichever property it wants us to give, like this one or this one or whatever, you know? Uh, so that's what we're going to do. So let's start off by making a for loop to go through contacts. So we'll come down here and say for let i equals zero while i is less than contacts dot length. We're going to say i plus plus iterating through it. And then after this, we'll do some, uh, we'll do a couple of for loops, excuse me, a couple of uh, if statements. So we'll say if right here, and first we're gonna check to see if the name is an actual contact's first name. So we're gonna say if contacts at i, so whichever index we're on at the moment, dot first name equals name. So if this first name equals this name here, what we're gonna do now is check to see if uh, the prop is the property of the contact. So we're gonna come in here and make another if statement. We'll say if um, contacts at i dot, um, what is it? Has own property. And then we're going to say uh, props like this or prop, that's what it is. So we're gonna see if the prop is a property of the uh, of the object, if that object has the name we're looking for, all right? So if that is the case, what we're gonna do is say return contacts at i, oops, whoops, whoops, oh, there we go. And then we're going to make and then we're going to do at prop. All right. So it's going to be like if it was this, if it was uh, index four, excuse me, index three and the uh, prop was number, we'd return unknown. All right. So if that's not the case, if there if it's not a prop, what we're going to do is uh, say no such property. So right here, outside of this if statement, and we can just click this uh, curly brace to see which one matches to it. So outside of this if statement, we'll say uh, return no, excuse me, a string, no such property, all right? And then down here, we're going to uh, say if name does not correspond to any contacts, then we'll return the string no such contact. So that's basically if this for loop fails to find anything matching, we'll just uh, go outside of the for loop and we'll say no, pardon me, return no such contact. All right. So let's uh, wrap this little function call down here up in parentheses. And let's say, um, in front of it, let's say uh, console.log like that. And you see right here, we've got pizza coding brownie points for Akira and that person's likes. 
All right, and so we've got uh, pizza coating brownie points right there. So if there's uh, no property, let's put a property like address. So address, it'll say no such property. And let's uh, get rid of the address and let's come over here and put somebody else's name like Hank. And it'll say no such contact. All right, so that looks like it works. Let's uh, run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to generate random funk, pardon me, generate random fractions with JavaScript. And we'll see you next time.